Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we got a really cool build. We're going to do a custom restoration of this Hot Wheels Redline AMX2. Now this car was released in 1971, and it's a pretty cool car, but this one here, there's a lot of toning underneath. The wheels definitely need to be replaced. Now the flaps in the back that expose the engine, one of those is broken, and part of the rear window in the, in the car itself is cracked. So we're gonna do the best we can to give this a really cool restoration, but I think I'm gonna alter the paint job a bit just to uh, do something a little bit different. Well, let's not wait any longer. Let's go ahead and have some fun. Get your favorite beverage and follow along. Here I've already got the car drilled apart and we're gonna evaluate the parts here. Get the windshield popped out. Now the body, like I said, there's a little bit of paint missing, but overall underneath the paint, you can definitely see that there is a lot of toning there. So we're gonna have to polish it up and do the best we can to remove the stains. The base itself isn't in too bad a shape. There's a lot of uh, tarnish underneath. The wheels definitely need to be replaced. Those are cap style wheels. And I think the Redline shop has the answer for that. But then we'll paste, uh, polish up the base and we'll do a really cool job on that. Now again, here's the windshield. The front looks pretty good, but these little wing windows in the back, one of them where my index finger is, is definitely cracked. So we're gonna have to take care of that. Here's the engine that goes on the inside, which is really cool, but you never really see it, which kind of sucks there. And here is the back end. I think I got a replacement for this, but I'll have to search around a little bit and we'll have to change that out. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here I'm gonna take the body and I'm gonna dip it in the embalming fluid, AKA citrus strip. I mean, this is a graveyard channel, so you gotta go with what's going on here, all right? So I'm gonna dip it in the embalming fluid and then we're gonna put it on this tray and we'll let it set. I did use to put the body and leave it in the citrus strip and let it soak, but I found out that if I left it in the citrus strip, sometimes I just either forgot it was there or just you know didn't pay attention to it for a few days. Now, if you do leave it in the citrus strip for a while, it is going to start to uh, attack the metal a little bit. Just don't leave it in there too long. So I decided just to dip it in and put it on this tray. That way there, I can see it. And if the paint is bubbled off, I tend to get to it a little bit faster. And that's the only reason I went to this method. Let's go ahead and take care of the windshield. We're gonna use some of the Plastex polish and we're going to polish this up a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and dip it in the gauzy. I gotta be really careful with that back end because like I said, that back window is cracked and it can snap really easy. Rub a little bit on there, find yourself a clean place on your cloth and start rubbing. If you have to take some sandpaper to it, do that first and then gradually increase the number on your sandpaper to smooth it out. So if you start with say a 600 or an 800, then go to a 1,000, then go to a 1,500, maybe a 2,000. Work your way up so it's a lot smoother, and then when you do polish it up, it'll look really nice. Overall, the windshield is in pretty good shape, and just that, like I said, that annoying crack in the back there where my index finger is. Let's go ahead and dip that into the gauzy. This is really good stuff. Now you can use gauzy or you can use the Pledge Revive or the Future Floor Finish, anything that puts a really clear shine on it. I've used the Future, I've used the Pledge Revive, and I've used the gauzy. Now the gauzy is specifically made for this hobby and, and that's why I like the gauzy. Now who knows, maybe it's actually Future for Floor Finish and nobody's told us, but I think it works better. I think the formula is really good and I prefer using the gauzy. I want to give a shout out to Paul at Fat Guy Productions 
for introducing me to this product because it's fantastic. Yep, that's where I discovered that the plastic is broken. And I'm just going to have to suck it up because that's all I got right now. Now, this car was produced in the United States. It's only produced in, uh, in the United States. So the windshield in there is going to be clear. Now, later on, there was a version of this car made called the Warpath. And they had blue windshields. We're going to take the base now and dip it in the lime away and water mixture. And it's a 50-50 mixture. And we're going to put it in there for approximately three minutes. If you do leave it in there too long, it will get black. And I showed that in my last video. So this is something you need to be aware of. Let's let this soak for a few minutes and then we'll move on. After we scrubbed the base down with a brass brush, we scrubbed it down again with a toothbrush and some soapy water. Now we're going to polish it up. Here I'm using Flitz Metal Polish and I love the Flitz. It's great stuff. You only need a little bit. I used to put a lot more on there, but hey, you put a lot on there, all you're doing is wasting it because the product works good and you don't need a whole bunch. Get your polishing tool ready. Here I've got my battery powered Dremel and I love the battery powered Dremel because then you haven't got to mess around with electric cords. Man, that flits, look how fast the flits works. And you don't have to turn the Dremel on the highest setting, just enough to get the buffer to work, which is fairly low, really. And then you can control it a lot better also. Look at how nice that's looking already. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out. This is looking really nice. Let's go ahead and move on. Look how nice that turned out. Sweet. Now we're back to the body. Look how easy that that embalming fluid worked, or in this case, the citrus strip. But it worked out good. Now there was a little spot there that didn't seem to take or something, so I just scrubbed it around a little bit with the uh, citrus strip, and it took it off in just a few moments. Now we're gonna, we got it cleaned up, we scrubbed it down with soap and water, now we're gonna polish it again with the flitz. The polish works so fast, it is absolutely amazing. And if you have a really good smooth finish on your metal, this flitz is gonna make it look like a mirror. Great, great stuff. Look at how fast that's working. Now you don't have to have a super mirror finish on your die cast car. You can if you want to and it'll look really nice, but you don't have to go crazy on it, let's say. Now there are a few guys out there that are super, super good at making their car look like a mirror. And my hat's off to them because it's a lot of work, folks. Man, that's turning out great. Let's go ahead and move on. Here we've got the body ready. Now, the AMX2 never came in orange. So that's what I'm going to spray here as the first color. We're going to do two colors today. But this Specter Flame orange is absolutely beautiful. And again, the AMX2 never came in orange. So that's what we're going to use first. But we're going to do a really nice fade job on here. And that's why I call this a restoration custom, not just a restoration. Now, some people would have really liked to have left it purple or not even done a restoration on this at all. But you know what? I have cars like this, and some of them are in pretty good shape. Some of them are even brand new that I pull out of the package. But I wouldn't have a YouTube channel if I didn't do something with them. So that's why there's times when I do something really fancy with the paint job. Now again, I did the front in orange, and the back I'm going to do in a different color. And you'll see what happens when that comes up. 
that's looking really nice. We'll let that set for just a little bit and then we'll start putting on the next color. All right, the next color we're putting on is a root beer brown and that's gonna blend in with the orange really nice. You've still got to take your time though, even though the front end may be tacky, it's still wet. So it has the opportunity to run if you put too much brown paint on it. So you got to be careful. Start off like you would the other paint job, some mist coats. Put those tack coats on there. Get it a little bit of dry in time and then move on. That brown is blending absolutely beautiful. Now obviously your red lines are not gonna come with these two shades of colors, or honestly, like I said before, this particular car did not come in orange. And I don't believe it came in brown or root beer. I'd have to check that out too. But uh, I wanted to give it so something different, you know? Look at that, look how nice that blends. This is definitely gonna be a custom. But that's absolutely cool. All right, we got the base all polished up, but we still need to replace the tires. Run your knife over to the edge of the wheel, push it in, give it a twist. Same thing, over to the edge, give it a twist. Look how easy those come off. Now, not all of them come off that easy, but this one in particular, it did. You got two large wheels in the back and two medium meats in the front. Like I said, this was probably one of the better designs that Hot Wheel came up with. And uh, it's they, they snap on if you want to put on new, new skins on there. And it's really easy to do. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Looking good. Let's move on. And here's all the parts. Here's the body, orange to a root beer. We detailed the back end, that looks fantastic. Here's the base, got brand new meats all the way around. We polished up the base, that looks really good. Here's the engine. It's really a shame they put all the effort into that engine. It looks great, but you're not gonna see it that often. Here's the glass. We're gonna reuse the one with the crack in it because you really can't see it. And then here's the replacement back end or interior that I found, and that looks good. I think that I got that out of an old uh, Warpath Hot Wheels. Here's what we started with. This purple AMX2. And you can look at the matting in the paint, and you can see that there's a lot of toning in there, and there's a lot of chips. It just looks tired. The wires, or the wheels need to be replaced, excuse me. The wheels need to be replaced and it just needs a good overall finish. And I love these old red lines, I really do. And it's a lot of fun to repair them, restore them, modify them, whatever, the way you want to. And don't let anybody try and give you any crap about, oh, you know, don't restore the red lines, you're ruining the value. You know what, they're your cars. They're your cars. And unless they're brand new, in a blister, and have never been taken out in their mint condition, they're not worth that much. Yeah, you see those exorbitant prices on eBay. If you pay them, it's up to you. And this is what we got to. Look at the beautiful paint job from that excellent Spectre Flame paint. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Restore your cars the way you want to. If you want them to be black. Now, there's no Hot Wheels red lines that are black. I've seen a lot of people do it. And they look great. And I look at them, I say, wow, I'm going to do that one of these days too. And I am. But they look fantastic. Do your hobby the way you want to. And you'll enjoy it. It's yours. It's your collection. Or if somebody comes to you and says, hey, can you do this for me and paint it pink with green polka dots? Sure, I can do that. Show me the money. <laughs> but... I mean, even if it's for a friend and you're doing it for free, I mean, do what you like. It's completely up to you. And you folks can do this hobby. Just do what we do in the videos. I want to say thank you to my Patreon subscribers. And if you want to, 
Join the team today, the link is in the comments. You sure could help me out by supporting my YouTube channel. Check out the link in the comments and please, I sure could use your help to keep the channel going. This video was brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of decals, tools to take your car apart, put them back together, replacement hoods, replacement glass, those beautiful Redline tires, and of course, the world famous Spectre Flame paints. Fantastic products. The Redline Shop at www.redlineshop.com, where Redlines. Thank come you so to much life. for joining me here today on Diecast Graveyard. If you have any questions, please contact me in the comments section. I read every single comment. I promise I do. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Folks, these videos are for you. This hobby is, is ours. Let's have fun with it. I look forward to your comments and your thumbs up. Take care and cheers.